A massive fire at a vacant farm home in Maryland was hard to fight. The two-story farmhouse was completely engulfed in flames. The county fire department had to bring in water in on, in, on tankers because there are no hydrants in the area. Fire investigators don't know exactly what caused this fire, but no one was injured. A Houston man is busted in Austin charged with selling bootleg movies and CDs. Travis County deputies tell us 25-year-old Brian Jeffrey sold top-quality films at a discounted price. CBS 42's Greg Watson is following the story that's new at 10. Greg? Ron, this is where folks go to see new releases, but those who sell bootleg movies and music say they can make a lot of money off of this. Copies of films that go for $19 in stores sells for five bucks on the street. And although counterfeiting is illegal, they tell me that you can be also be beneficial for those artists looking to make a name for themselves. Want to catch the hottest releases at the theater? Travis County deputies say Brian Jeffries had them. Films like The Bucket List or the mega hit National Treasure. Deputies say Jeffrey sold them out of a DVD case in an East Austin parking lot. Writers and filmmakers don't get their residual. That's where a lot of their residuals come from, uh, or from DVD sales. And really the only person that uh, benefits is the bootlegger. The average price of a CD, according to the recording industry, sells for $14. Deputies say Jeffrey's had 53 bootleg CDs of artists like Jay-Z. Alicia Keys and Mary J. Blige for five bucks. Music stores like Waterloo say they look out for fakes. Usually they're fuzzier copies and stuff like that that you see. You like me. Unsigned artists like High likely say they don't mind people bootlegging their music. It's another way to find fans. For us, for this level, for bands at this level, we, we need people to, to, you know, as many as possible to get our music. As an unsigned band, and a, you know, uh, yes, I, I would agree within, within that. It would be a good idea. But then again, where does it stop? You know, there is no stopping point once the ball's gone. CDs and DVDs come with a warning label telling folks copying is punishable under federal law. Other big name artists like Radiohead encourages fans to download or bootleg their music. They've used it as a promotional tool to sell out concerts across the country. That's our story live here in North Austin. Greg Watson, CBS 42 News in HD. Now, according to court documents, bootlegging isn't the only crime that Jeffries is accused of. Deputies say they found marijuana in his pocket and he resisted arrest. His bond has been set at $5,000. On Medical Watch tonight, it is flu season, but...